it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about chickens, poultry, and how to keep them safe from predators. We have chickens, they're more pets, I mean we get eggs from them. We also have ducks, geese, guinea fowl, and peafowl, and of course raccoons, foxes, coyotes, they all tend to be a problem. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what we do and how to keep the raccoons So our away. coop is actually built onto the side of the barn. I've got a little pen outside for them that they can come and go. Once you uh, go into the actual area, I built a uh, secure room in here. I can keep my chicken stuff. Chicken's kind of having a mess right now. But uh, the area, and they go in at night, they free range during the day. When they free range during the day, there's not a whole lot that you can do unless you're constantly home to protect them. But at night is where we were having the problems. And we had a couple of years ago, uh, I think I either killed or live trapped 35 raccoons in one summer and I lost about 80 birds. So I started getting serious and uh, here is what I came I up just, with. Okay, I just unplugged it, but just a cheap like alarm clock radio tuned to a talk station that you leave on at night. That's actually pretty good about keeping animals out. They hear that, they'll stay away, they think someone's in there. That's helped a lot. That's not our only thing that we did. Now the raccoon issue we were getting, they were coming in through the top. Uh, we left a lot of ventilation with the chickens in there. So I came out here and I got a lot of this uh, really fine wire and just put it in like crazy on there. And it has kept them out on this side. Now the other side we're gonna walk to right now. And this, Kind of looks like a jumbled mess right now, but besides putting uh, chicken wire up, putting some boards up to kind of block where they could get in, none of that seemed to work. So then I got the idea they were getting in underneath, but mainly they were prying uh, the roof up and crawling in. So I went to our farm and home store, just bought a cheap one of these, uh, just a cheap... Uh, electric fence and I ran it all along the bottom where they were getting in and then I ran it along the top they were kind of crawling across the rafters staying in there trying to pry them up and uh, it worked it's been about three years I think now I've not lost another bird in the chicken I take that back I think I've lost one in the last three years and I actually caught the raccoon out there and took care of him at the time. But besides the fact we're not losing any, any birds, how do I know it worked? Well, let's walk over here. Or actually, I think I can kind of blow it up. I'm getting ready to fix this right now. But if you look, you can see the wires kind of knocked down right Right there that's because we had a visitor last night and this is uh, my horse stall area also uh, I've got a little maternity pen for smaller animals when we're having when the goats are having kids and all but let me walk over there and I'll show you what happened to our visitor last night so, th so this wire I don't know how well you, know, you can see it was good it was tight all knocked down today apparently we had a raccoon decided he was going to try to get in last night and uh you know when it happens he gets on there he gets a pretty good shock he moves away he'll knock the fence down we kind of know he's been there and uh then we just put it back up much easier than having to replace chickens so anyway that's kind of a uh kind of what we did i talked with a lot of other homesteaders people that are kind of moving out and uh trying to get into this sort of thing and you know they'll have trouble here and there hey this is what I did maybe it'll help you out and if you're seeing this video same thing maybe this will help you out if it does you know I'm glad to have helped if you like the video please subscribe give us a like leave us a comment love seeing those 
trying to get more videos as we can, but all of it is appreciated. Thank you.